this example, when a deal hits my Airtable, I want to generate a custom URL that passes that deal's email address into an Airtable form so I can connect that form back to this record. To do this, I'm going to go into my site survey table and click on my form view. I'm going to open that form and grab the URL and copy that. Back in Airtable, under the deals table, I'm going to create a formula field and the formula is going to be quotation marks and then I'm going to paste in that Airtable form URL, then add a question mark, prefill, underscore, then I'm going to add the column in the other table, the site survey table, that I want to populate with existing information. In this case, I want to populate the email column in my site survey table, then equal, quotation marks, ampersand, and the field from the current table that you want to grab information from. So I wanna grab the email address from the deals table. So I do brackets and the field name and then hit save. So now whenever a deal hits this table, it will append the email address to the end of my Airtable form. So for example, it's empty right now, but if I were to add an email, this field updates. Now when an employee needs to fill out this form, for this existing record, they can simply click on that unique URL and the information to attach it to a record is at the bottom. I recommend putting it at the bottom because you can't hide the fields that you're passing information through and then put a disclaimer saying not to edit it. So now when someone submits this form, It goes into your site survey table, and then you can create a zap to attach it back to your deals table automatically. So within Zapier, I would do a trigger based off a new record, and then I would find a record. Choose your account in your base. I'm looking for new records that appear in the site survey table. Let's test that trigger and hit continue. And we want to find a record. In the deals table, based off the email address, if it matches the new record email address, let's test that out. And when we find that record, we want to update the deals record with the date of the site survey completion. So we're gonna update the record we found in the second zap. And we are going to update the site survey column with the new records completed on information and hit continue.
and then test and continue. Let's see if it connected. So now it's connected that record from the site survey back to my deal. And now we want to update the deal stage in our HubSpot account for this deal. So we are going to add a, another zap for HubSpot. And the first thing we're going to do is find a deal. Hit continue, connect to your HubSpot account. The name we are looking for is going to be the record we found in our second zap. And that's going to be the field's deal name. And our second search property name is going to be deal activity contact. And the value we are looking for is our second Zaps email address. Let's hit continue and test it out. And now we want to update that deal. And now we want to connect to HubSpot again to update the deal stage. And we are going to grab the deal ID from our fourth zap. Our deal pipeline is our sales pipeline and we want to update the deal to the next deal stage which in this example is prelim design and hit continue and right now that deal is set to site visit so let's test it out refresh our page and now the deal is set to prelim design the last thing we want to do is update that record So now we're going to update the record from zap number two by setting the stage with an air table to be create prelim design package and hit continue. Let's test it out. So now this deal stage has been updated. So we can turn on our zap. So now we are going to automatically sync records across Airtable and HubSpot every time a site visit form is completed. If you have any questions, 
Don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.